Hey friends, today we're gonna to hang out a little bit in the backyard and we're going to focus on painting some terracotta pots. It's a gorgeous day out here and uh, Matt's doing some yard work back here. Our neighbor's doing some tidy up and some cleanup as well. And um, I told you yesterday that there was a tree that came down between our two properties yesterday and holy smokes, I did not realize it until the tree came down, how much light it let into our kitchen because it was so tall and so big, I didn't even realize that it was blocking all the sunshine. So it really makes me look at my kitchen and really start to think, hmm, hey, it's time to paint it again. So um, yeah, my neighbor's next door. If I raise my voice any louder, he's probably gonna think that I'm talking to him. <laughs> you know, we're the neighbors that talk to ourselves on camera. It's completely normal. So anyhow, you might hear him say hello in just a second because he's working on the fence line as well. The puppies are out here. Um, you know, Stanley cats roaming around. It's all good. So yeah, so number one, I'm thinking about my kitchen. So one of the things I've always wanted to do in my kitchen, and if you've seen video of it before of me painting it, you know what, how it has that, is it called a bay window? Like it's a, it's a bigger window, but it has a ledge in front of it. I've always wanted, you guys know that when I say this, you're gonna be like, Sonia, everything you touch dies, right? I know, I know, I'm not a good, um, I don't know. I just haven't had really good success with keeping plants alive. Or if I do, I should probably go towards like succulents and you know, cactus, that sort of thing. Now I will tell you that I used to be, I used to have a whole bunch of plants. I used to have, I used to have cactus, but um, bamboo plants and I'm trying to think, before I moved to the US from Canada, I ended up uh, giving my plants away and I'm just trying to think all the ones. I had an African violet as well, I believe it was called. It was beautiful. So anyhow, I haven't gotten back into plants. Even my sister was came down to visit two falls ago. And she's like, you need plants. And I'm like, no, I'm good, you know, maybe down the road. And so here I am now starting to think more about plants. And with that window in my kitchen, I really think that I wanna try, I wanna try maybe starting like potted herbs. I, would like, I love the idea of getting up and being able to pick like fresh uh, basil to put in my scrambled eggs, you know, rosemary to put in my roasted potatoes, that sort of stuff. So I'm going to try that because I have all this beautiful sunshine now. It's a gorgeous spot and I really feel like something would thrive there. So I'm going to try to do that. So today I'm just collecting some pots that I have around and um, I painted a bunch of big ones like this for the front of my house. It can be my honey. I think we, I may have showed that before. I found this pot was hiding. I painted this years ago. It's just been sitting outside. I did it in polka dots at one point. And now all I'm doing is, um, so it's just weathered. I'll paint my pots over and over again. I know that mother nature is, you know, she's strong and she's powerful. And uh, so I, I, sometimes I seal when I paint my pot. Sometimes I don't. I just let the natural, you know, course happen. And every year I look forward to repainting them in a different color. So this is one that never got changed over. Last year I did Grey's Anatomy, which is like a gray beige color. Um, and then this year I painted my pots Be My Honey, which is a really cool like um, yellow orange, like a, what I call like a, um, a honey pot color, orange, beautiful color. But this one escaped the last two years. It's like, you know, gotten out of my, uh, out of my sight. So I found it in the mood, you know, it just kind of got covered. But I'm gonna give it some color today. And I also have some other little pots that I painted, oh my goodness. I mean, I might be going back to like 2014 here. Actually, I might paint it upside down like that. So this was a, um, a pot that I did polka dots on and it was really vivid when it was first done. It's still cool, I love the shabbiness of it right now. So before I paint, all I do guys is just take a sand block and if there's anything that wants to fall off right now, I just go ahead and let it fall off. So that way I have a nice flat surface to uh, paint on. Because if I paint over, you know, some paint that's about to fall, then my paint's gonna fall with it. So get off anything that wants to come off and then that will be our canvas from there. I hear him with the garden hose and I gotta tell you, it's a warm day today. The garden hose just kind of like triggered me to think, ooh, it'd be fun to run through a sprinkler today. We didn't have a pool growing up. Um, in fact, I didn't know anybody who had a swimming pool growing up 
on the island. It's a cold island in the North Atlantic, a little different, not like island south. And, uh, you know, there was a community pool about an hour away, but I never, you know, swam there or anything, but we would have fun in the sprinklers. So it was fun to jump through it and, you know, to see who, you know, do the limbo and, or, you know, I, you know, you know, the sprinkler that would come like this and you had to run through it without getting, you know, water on yourself. So fun times, but I hear his water hose and on, on a day like today, I'm like, yes, that's fun. So this is uh, some pots. Maybe I painted these last year. I don't know, or the year before, now that I think about it. I was thinking they were gray, but that was way back many moons ago. So I, I put some color on these. I believe this color is Grey's Anatomy, I'm pretty sure, now that I think back to that year before last. So I found these hiding and I'm thinking these are perfect to put little things in. Um, over the last couple days, I went out looking for anything that I might already have in the yard that I can bring inside. I do love viney green plants. You know, I'm pretty sure I used to have a spider plant. It would like drop down and give it a, a bunch more, like a, a bloom of greenery and then it would drop down again and give it another bunch. You know what I'm talking about? Something like pom-poms, but it's actually um, a plant. It was so cool. Anyway, I gotta see if I can find one of those again. I'm gonna have to start shopping for plants. Listen to that hose. Oh yes. He's probably working on his grass. You know when you have a tree taken down and there's big equipment that comes in and you know things are falling, the big chunks of the giant tree and it just gouges your soil below. I think he's trying to put things back together over there. He has a beautiful uh, koi fish pond over there, which Stanley, our cat, apparently, he says, loves to go over there and he sits and watches the fish. <laughs> Stanley's got a whole other life outside of our house. And he is, um, I think he wants to be adopted by our neighbors. They're big cat people and they, they, they treat him so well. We're so fortunate to have just, you know, great neighbors who, um, love the animals too. So they take care of Stanley Cat. It's like he's, you know, we have shared custody of our cat. It's our cat, but it's not really anymore. So um, I think he's in good graces with their kitty cats now, because Matt saw, said this morning he saw them like bumping heads. And I think that's a good sign, isn't it? When cats bump heads, I think it is. Or even bump your head. I forget what that's a sign of, like affection or, you know, you're my people. So I think Stanley, sometimes he has falling out with the kitty cats next door. There's a couple. Um, but I think he's, I think it's all good now. So this is, I only have one of these trays. I feel like I should have more. This pot has a crack into it. Can you see that? I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna put that inside on my windowsill. So I'm probably not even gonna seal these. The only thing is, if you seal them, it will really make the paint pigments pop at the end. So I do love some vivid color. My house is completely colorful. I'm gonna go with my Canterbury, which is one of our new pink colors. I have been working on, um, it's not the right lid for it, that was a white lid on it. Um, I've been working on a bunch of stuff in this color Canterbury recently. It's an eggplant purple color. And so I'm like, yeah, let's just continue with this. So I grabbed it real quick off my uh, work stand and I'm gonna change them over. I recently just did a mirror this week on Facebook. I'll pop that up real quick while I'm stirring my paint and tell me if you like my uh, my mirror because it's Canterbury. I added some beautiful metallic wax on the end and painted a whole table to match it. So I think this setup is gonna be good. Look at this. So a few little pots in another area that matches that same color. Plus I think that purple and green go really cool together. You know, just yeah, purple and green. I think purple and green would go really nice. So I just need some nice, beautiful green plants. Really tempted to put an ad on um, like a local group, mom's group or something like that and say, hey, does anybody have any uh, plant cuttings? You know, because I'm pretty sure I've seen from time to time that people sell plant cuttings. I'll listen to me. I'll go out and ask people like, you're weird. No, I'm pretty sure people do that, right? And I know that growing up I used to see you know, people um, that my mom was friends with or my nan, and I'm pretty sure they would like, you know, cut off a part of their plant and then wrap it in some um, 
paper towel, keep it moist and, you know, in a baggie and then they would pass it on. I think there is something beautiful about passing on plants. Oh my gosh, guys, talking about beautiful. Look at that color. Oh, perfect. Glad I went with this. I always know with the first brush strokes whether or not I'm gonna love it. But listen, I have a mint, a uh, junk monkey uh, paint color that I don't love, so it was a hard, it was hard to pick. But I really like this. Love this. So I'm thinking about painting my um, kitchen maybe in a darker color. Um, the current color of my kitchen is a color called Grey's Anatomy, which is what I'm painting with. So. What I'm going to do is change it out. So the last time I painted, the first time I painted my kitchen cabinets when I moved into this house was a color called Ducky, which is a, like a duck egg kind of color, bluish greenish, love it. I did it in spring, it felt so fresh, it was perfect. Then, because you know I'm a creature of comfort, but also I like change. I'm not afraid of painting something. It's just paint, you can paint over it. So then I decided to change it up to grayish. And now, you know, that was in the summer that I painted that, last summer when we were all stuck at home. Um, so this summer, although we're kind of towards, you know, we're in, in the peak of summer now, I'm just thinking towards the future and I may want to go with a cozy color. I might go with like, change it up completely and go with a dark color. So stay tuned for that because when I do it, I will um, include it in one of my videos maybe a little, little of me painting them and show you what it looks like. Paint can do wonderful things. Got all of my hands, it's okay. So I'm not painting all the way down, I just kind of do the inside like lip because the ground goes down there, right? But yeah, look at that color, like look at the difference. Already, oh, so pretty. Okay, so let's put that there. And let's do our next one. So this morning I have had my coffee, I've had my shower, and now I'm painting. Most people would probably have a shower after they paint. It's never a good time. I'm always painting here. It never stops. But uh, yes, yeah, so I just had my shower, and now I'm deciding to paint my arms again. Oh, well. Sounds like he's working maybe on the stump. You know what? I really should have painted the inside lip. Maybe I'll paint the inside lip on this one first. Because when you've painted the outside, it's hard to hold on to it to do the inside. So guys, what color? No one are junk monkey paint colors. What do you think I should do in my kitchen? For those of you who follow me. And I'm not afraid of any color. So, you know, any color is uh, is good. I'm also tempted to do something really crazy, like, you know, teal or something. But I'm really thinking about going dark, cozy. And pot number two is now done. Let me put that pot right there. Let's work on the big one right here together. Hopefully you can see that. Maybe I should put you down a little bit more, just so you can, uh, that might even help a little bit better, huh, guys? All right, let's try that. Sorry if I didn't have you. Oh, that's why I wasn't here before, because I have to get down like this. Okay, so let's do the inside of this pot first, because, like I said, we just learned. We improve. This is why practice makes perfect. And uh, you learn as you go. You remind it as you go. <laughs> put a rim of beautiful eggplant purple, quite magical. Don't be surprised if you see me uh, adding some really cool metallic waxes to my uh, my planters as well. Okay, let me just get around here. Perfect. Wondering if I should turn this upside down. Should I turn this upside down? Nah, it doesn't really matter, huh? All right, let's go ahead. Freshen her up. Do you 
guys like the idea of like painted colorful pots? I've always loved even the, the look of a bunch of different colors together. In fact, I have some more planters because when we were thrifting, I thought that was a spider. We're good. Um, yeah, freaking me out, it was a spider. When I went thrifting, I got some really cute ceramic actual pots, like interior pots, which I might paint a couple of those as well. I'm just thinking a whole windowsill filled with beautiful plants and um, like I said, herbs. So I think the, the ones I would want are like basil. I love, I think it's called onion chives. Onion chives, I'm pretty sure. Love, I love onion, anybody else? And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to think of the common ones. The rose, the thyme. I love, I love the smell of thyme. When we went to a, um, like a roadside farmer's market this weekend, we got some cabbage and green peppers, tomatoes, even got some green uh, tomatoes. We made some fried green tomatoes this week. Oh my gosh, so good, devoured those. Do you guys like fried green tomatoes? Never had them until I moved to Pennsylvania and I understand why they eat them because they are delicious. So I did a really cool, tried something new with my crust, like the, the crusty part of when I fry them. It was so good. And uh, today I had a delicious tomato sandwich for lunch earlier smoked cheese and mm, it was good but the tomatoes that we got I swear they were like this like they were like big tomatoes we got two big two of two ripe ones like that you cut one slice and it feels like it's like a loaf of bread you know like it just it's a lot so um but delicious but when I was there they had pepper plants and they had like the pepper plants had some plants growing on them but I don't know if I'm ready for pepper plants. I think I should just start with, uh, like I said, maybe some stuff like basil. Basil, basil, how do you say it? Basil. Uh, last little bit. All right, I'm just trying to just even out my brush strokes when you're going around in a circle. And I'm in a sitting position, you know. It's always good to uh, just do, stand back, stand up, take a, a look at your project and get it where you need it. I'm trying not to like, the inside of this lip, believe it or not, is almost dry. It's because it's so warm. All right, let's see here. Does that look good? What do you think? Yay. Do you have pots that you need to uh, paint? You can get even terracotta pots and stuff like that when you go to um, like Goodwills and stuff, like for any thrift stores, people get rid of them. This one had this little bottom um, tray, you know, for the bottom of the smaller pots. It has a, a little missing part, doesn't matter. Now I can also distress these, cause you know I'm a girl that loves some distress, not to be in distress, but I do love a distressed, shabby, cozy look. So if I really want to, I could even distress this. Today, I just wanna get some color on them. Let them dry in the sun. It is gorgeous right now outside. These will dry super fast. And I'm gonna to have to make a run and see what I can find out there for potential things to put in here. So I have been digging up some ivy. I found ivy. I'll tell you how I got that idea. When I was at that farmer's market, I was talking to the lady and I'm like, do you have any indoor, you know, starter plants or anything like that? And she says, we don't, but we have this. And she brought me over and she showed me the ivy. And she's like, I've been uh, cutting ivy and putting them into baskets and putting them around my home. It's a project I'm working on, right? She showed me a really nice basket. And then that reminds me, Sonia, that is all over our backyard. So I went to the back and it's all grown over like a brick stone wall that's in the back of the house so I started taking I went out with my scissors and they have all these like different roots that grow 
off in all different directions because I mean they stick on like the side of walls um, you know all sorts of things like really really well and so I figure from what I know they're pretty hardy plant I mean they're an outdoor plant so it should thrive inside right if I give it lots of um, love beautiful sunlight and some um, water so I did cut a bunch of those and I put them in water just to kind of you know help them you know get ready before I put them into some really nice soil so tell me what you know I think I gotta do drainage for the bottom of these I gotta collect some rocks so but it's nice to get out and do this sort of thing it's really quiet so it's a great day thanks guys for hanging out with me and keeping me company so I think my stuff turned out really nice now I just gotta be patient and uh, let it dry look how sweet that's gonna be oh, so nice I said I might put a little bling bling on the edges don't be surprised if I yeah show up later and uh, you see me working on that it's just paint paint over it again but there is such enjoyment that comes from sitting outside like this with your animals enjoying the sunshine and yeah just you know giving just renewing something and uh, re loving it again so I'm gonna get cleaned up make sure I take my paint out of the sunlight but I'm gonna stay into it. I'm gonna stay in the light. All right, guys, I will see you back again tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully you find something to paint and get into. See ya.